In this video, I will be demonstrating how to set up an advanced query. Advanced queries give you the ability to combine queries and save them for future use. They are reusable and can be set to automatically launch when you open a program. An example of a program where it would be very helpful to use an advanced query is Customer Service Inquiry. Customer Service Inquiry allows a user to find sales order lines at any step in the business process that has been defined. Let's go into Enterprise One and take a look at advanced queries using the Customer Service Inquiry program. I will access the Customer Service Inquiry from my favorites. Normally on this screen, you would enter values in either the header fields or in the QBE line to find the data that you need. For instance, I want to find all sales order lines with a sales order type of SO for customer number 4242 with a next status of 540. I enter those three pieces of data and then it hit the find button and I get the results that I'm looking for. The problem with this is that once you close the program and reopen it, you lose that search criteria. So now if part of your daily process is to review orders at that status for the customer, you'd have to access this program and enter that search criteria each time you want to check over and over again. However, if we set up an advanced query and saved it, then you would not have to re-enter or remember the search criteria. To create an advanced query, click on the funnel icon for manage queries. This will open the query man manager window on the right. At this point, you will also see that on the grid to the left, plus signs have been added to the fields in the header of the inquiry and to the QBE line fields. The fields with the plus signs are the fields that can be used in your search criteria. As I click on the plus sign for sales order type, customer number, and next status, you'll see that they've been added to the query manager window on the right. These become your left operands. Now all I have to do is enter the values for each of the search criteria in the right in the right operand fields. So I'm going to enter SO order type, customer 4242, with next status 540. I can click the find button within the query manager screen and this will process the query. This allows me to ensure that it is working as expected before I save it. Once I'm satisfied that the query is working, I can click on the Save button. I'll be asked to name it. In this instance, I will name it Customer 4242-540 Next. The name can be alphanumeric up to 30 characters. Now, when I close the program and reopen it, let's see here, let's reopen it. I can go to the query option here, click on the drop down, and you'll see customer 4242, 540 next, which is the query I created. When I click on that, the query is run. Let's go back into the query manager and change one setting. We're going to click on the option for set as default, and then we're going to save it. When I close and reopen the program, let's see what happens. Go back to customer service. And as you can see, when we access the program, the query was automatically run. This is because we set the query as the default for this version of customer service inquiry. That was a quick review of setting up a simple query. I will review other features of advanced queries in future videos.